if you're looking for the perfect day tonight evening bag then you need to continue watching this video hello my beautiful hands i hope you guys are all doing well if this is the first video from me that you're watching my name is bell michelle i do videos around travel and fashion and then i sprinkle in a little bit of extra anything else i want to speak about so today i'm going to be doing a review of my ysl kate bag now if you guys are long-term watchers of my channel you'll know that this is my first ysl bag and this bag actually holds a special place in my heart because this bag was gifted to me by my husband at the time he was then my fiance he actually gifted it to me on my birthday while we were in the baldy and on the day that he proposed so I got my ring as obviously he proposed and then I also got this as a birthday gift this is a bag that I will have in my collection forever and ever because it was a bag that I was actually saving up for to buy and he knew that and then him to buy it for me was just like ah. and then also for the occasion and how I got the bag this is a bag I definitely want to pass down to so my daughters or my sons if they're in the handbags yeah I'll be wearing this for a very very long time and also it's such a beautiful bag so such a beautiful bag and I've already gotten so much wear out of it now I have the cake bag in the small size and this bag comes in three sizes it comes in the small a medium and a large and there is actually an extra size which is the old small so the older small was a bit smaller than this one here I love this small because I can fit so much in this so I'm going to talk to you about the bag and then I'm going to show you what fits in the bag and I'm also going to show you guys a few ways that you can style the bag so this bag is made from this grained leather which YSL is very very known for and it makes it so durable it also makes it scratch resistant one thing I will say it's a place that's not scratch resistant is where you have the YSL logo YSL likes to use this really yellow gold which I love but I know that not everyone likes it so if you're someone who you're into more silver than gold then I'll definitely say go for the um, silver hardware but me I love yellow gold so the gold hardware just works amazingly for me the bag is super easy to open and on it you have this chain once again mine is in the yellow gold now the thing i really like about this chain is the fact that i can double it up so i can wear it like this as just under there now for reference i am five six and a half or you can have it a bit longer like this and you can wear it either crossbody or you can also wear it on the shoulder the way i like to wear this bag is more on the shoulder for me it is more of an evening bag just because of the chain and just the way that it looks is definitely is more of an evening date night sort of bag also on the chain you have this gold tab here that has Saint Laurent now this tab is prone to scratching mine has quite a few scratches and on the inside you don't have any compartments but one thing you do have I have just stuffed mine with some I think this is like an old head wrap just to keep this shape but you do have a little compartment here this is usually where I'll keep like any notes or anything like that and then you just have this full compartment here so there's no compartments in it. as soon as you open it you just see the inside of the bag now when you look at the side of the bag you'll see that it actually dips in on both sides this is one of the disadvantages i would say to this bag is the fact that when you try to pop your phone in there those grooves will actually sort of get bigger actually it's fine but basically if you stuff the bag too much these will sort of come out and you might sort of distort the bag especially the size of the bag so just be quite wary of that especially nowadays where our phones are getting bigger and bigger if you have a really large phone that will determine what size of this bag you should get now that i've showed you what fits inside the bag i'm gonna go through the positives and the negatives of this bag one of the negatives i will say is the fact that the gold hardware does scratch quite a bit i have so many scratches on my hardware also so many scratches on the little wire cell tab here but i think the scratches actually make it a bit more unique and i don't really mind the scratches like they're not scratches that are completely horrid it just makes it seem like it's a used bag but not an overused bag but i know for anyone who maybe you're really really anal about scratches then you might want to know about that the second negative i've actually already spoken about which is the grooves on the side because they are indented sometimes if you overstuff the bag you can distort it so it's just one of the things that you have to have in the back of your mind now onto the positives of the bag and there are so many positives first of all just how compact it is but how much it fits now this depends on what size you get i have the small and 
this day and age to find a small bag that actually fits your phone is like sort of a unicorn because the tiny bag energy is everywhere i know big bags are coming back now but we're now in a world where you have extremely small bags slgs that people are using for bags it's nice to have a bag that is small but actually still fits my essential another positive is that it's such a simple and classic style and i think that's the reason why ysl bags are so popular right now because they're simple and classic styles they can go with anything they can go with anyone's style they can go with anything that you wear which makes them really really versatile and means that you're going to get such a good cost per wear because you're going to be able to wear it with a variety of different outfits and for a variety of different occasions the next positive is that the leather is very very durable ysl is known for using some of the highest quality leathers and because it is this grained leather once again it's very very scratch resistant and it's also very sturdy in that the bag will not lose its shape i cannot tell you how many times i have over stuffed this bag and as you guys can see the grooves are still intact like it's still well structured it hasn't lose it hasn't lost its shape or began being droopy or anything like that it's still a very very well structured bag and then the last thing that is a positive for someone who already has the bag but a negative for someone who is looking to buy the bag is that ysl is very very aware of their popularity and their proximity some of their bags to chanel but obviously they are a lot more affordable everyone has been up in arms about chanel price increases they've sort of forgotten that other brands are also increasing their prices and ysl has had quite a few price increases and recently even when i was looking at the pre-loved market the prices of ysl bags are retaining their value quite well like even more than say Givenchy or some other fashion houses that have been around for much longer than saint laurent which is astonishing but i think it is because of the style of the bags they are classic they are simple they are elegant they can go with a lot of different things and you can never go wrong with a classic style so the prices of not just this cake bag but just ysl bags in general has been creeping up not even creeping up it's been shooting up so if you're someone that already has the bag and you want to reset it that is great for you because you're definitely going to get a lot more money back for what you initially initially spent however if you're someone who's trying to buy the bag i would say buy it sooner rather than later because yeah even if you go on the saint laurent website you can see some of the bag prices i'm like that the price a few months ago another thing i love about this bag is that ysl releases it in so many different colors you have there's a beautiful burgundy red color that i really really want there's also different versions you have some that have the tassel which i also want so i really want to get a cake bag in burgundy red with the tassel you also have some that are in croc embossed i think they also release some in exotics like python and croc so there's just so many variations of this bag that you can get to suit your style now some other things i wanted to mention is there is actually a wallet on chain version of the cake bag it's not a cake bag but it's quite similar and i think that retails for i'll put the price of that bag up on the screen here but if you like that version there's an even more affordable version i would suggest you to get and that would be the ysl monogram quilted clutch or large wallet because it can actually be converted into a wallet on chain and that bag i believe retailed for around the 500 pound mark i'll put the actual price on the screen and you can get a lot of different inserts that you can then use so you can have a chain and then convert it into a wok or wallet on chain i've seen a few people here on youtube do it and i think it's a very cost effective way to still get that wallet on chain look but not having to break your back and we've come to the end of the video so i really really hope that this was helpful i'm going to be trying to do more bag reviews and shoe reviews because i really like to watch them and they really help me whenever i'm looking to purchase especially a big ticketed like luxury price item so if there's any bag that you've seen me wear or that you've seen in my collection that i've shared that you want me to make a review on please do let me know i'll link the reviews of some bags and shoes that i've already done in the description bar below i hope you guys have had a good morning evening afternoon or whatever time and if you like this video i think you might like this video here or possibly this video here click on either of those and let me continue to entertain you oh and if you're not already subscribed and you've got until the end of the video i think you like me by now so click on that subscribe button also make sure you click the bell so that you always get notifications of my videos and never miss an upload i'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!